So here's how to use our Fox Hunt controller. It's a little box with a micro USB. That's where the power and or the programming, but for our purposes here, we're just gonna use it for power. And it's got a cord with a plug that's designed to go into the Kenwood and or Baofeng uh, handy talkies, ham radios. First thing you want to do is you need a power source. I'm using this little USB power source and plug it in to power it up. You want to power it up first, and we'll talk about that in a little in a second. So power it up, and then you need a radio. So in this case, I'm going to use this Baofeng radio, and you just open up the side piece piece just like you would do on a regular headset so now we've got our radio connected to the box and let me see if it's on and it's on <clears throat> and then um, turn on your radio two things you're going to want to do here um, first it's a good idea to turn on the tr the controller before the radio because otherwise if you plug this in and this is off it may start transmitting depending on the level of the pins uh, it's just the way that the push to talk works all you got to remember is plug your controller in first give it power first then plug this in okay so what you do is once you turn on the radio you need to make sure that the volume is about halfway or so because remember this device listens so it needs to hear it and if it's not responding it's usually because the volume is too low so turn up the volume a little bit the next thing you do is you set your frequency in this case I'm on the 70 centimeter band at 432, 650. This is just the one I'm using locally. Uh, so that is that. So that is the Fox part of it. Now to trigger it, you'll need another radio. This will be out in the field somewhere, probably with a uh, Yagai antenna. And let me... Switch over and I'm gonna uh, I've got a lot of so you hold down the transmit button and then uh, try hitting star So that was this radio transmitting to this radio. For some reason, I'm getting a lot of static. I think my I got too many radios too close to each other right now. But here are the controls. Again, to trigger it, you always hit transmit on your radio, and then you hit one of the DTMF tones. The star which will vary depending on your radio. On the Bale Fung, the star's up here. On my Kenwood, it's down here. The star will force it to send a long message, which you just heard. So if you're trying to hunt it down and you're not hearing it, trigger that. This also supports different users. By default, it's sending under my um, ham radio ID, but it's also configured for everybody else's and it is user one is me user two mckinley three alex four cliff and five gerald so if i want to switch it so it transmits under uh mckinley it's real easy you just again transmit and hit in the her case two Mr. 
So now it said operator two, which is McKinley, and it gives the last, it speaks the last three letters of their call sign, BVQ, Bravo, Victor, Quebec. And now any transmission will be off of McKinley's ID. It's always a good idea to have it transmit off of the person who's actually there and uh, operating as the fox but you can always use mine i don't really care the uh, last thing if you want to have it automatically send a message every minute and it's only going to do morse code so this is more of a challenge that command is with the pound and on the bay of fung the pounds down there on this kenwood the pound is here so let me send the pound sign. Automatic on. Okay, so it said automatic on. That means from now on every minute, the controller will send out a Morse code. To shut it off, you just do the same thing. You Transmit pound. Automatic off. Okay, so there you go. Sorry about all the static. So if you transmit a star, it'll do a long message. And that's good if you're trying to hunt it down and you don't want to wait a minute or you don't want to have it in automatic mode. If you transmit the pound sign, it'll turn automatic on and off. And automatic will send a Morse code message once a minute. And then if you send one through five, it'll switch between myself, McKinley, Alex, Cliff, Gerald, and there's other openings if we have other users. So, turn on the device, turn on the radio, set your frequency, have this plugged in, make sure the volume is about halfway up or so, and then you could try transmitting with your other radio, with your hunter radio. Remember, this is the fox, and this is the hunter, and the hunter radio, send, you could do And then it's going to do the long message. Hopefully that makes sense. Have fun.